All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Elvis the Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom unto you. It say, but the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor, and make their creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. So this is the payback part two. All right. As the scripture says, if you believe on me, as the scripture has says out of your belly, which is your mind, shall flow with rivers of living water, which is the truth. So the God of the Bible is not about all love. He's about judgment. All right. So he's going to make the creature his weapon. We are his creature. All right. So he is going to use us. We're going to be getting down out here. Whoever received that spirit in that day, they're going to be getting down. All right. So it said, behold, I will make you a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. So the big governments and little governments, they going to get it. The power structure of this world is going to be shaken when the men of the Lord get power in that day. All right. The Lord is going to put the icing on the cake. When he come back with the cloud, actually with clouds. All right. With him and the holy angels, thousands of times, ten thousand. All right. He's going to put the ice on the cake. He's going to be shooting fire out of the chariots. All right. He's going to plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. But before that, this is what we're reading about. He's going to make the creature his weapon. And it says 16, thou shall fan them, which means scatter them. And the wind shall carry them away. And the whirlwind shall scatter them. And you shall rejoice in Yahweh, Bashan, Abishai, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. All right. So this is what we got to look forward to. We're going to get our hands on these devils in the rest of the heathen. Two thirds going to get it, too. All right. Because scripture said the first scripture that I read in the um, ver first part of the payback is that it is a righteous thing to recompense trouble unto them that I mean to recompense judgment unto them that trouble you. All right. So and ain't just Esau, Edom. And the heathens, it's also two thirds that trouble us. So, from here, no, I think it's 51. <clears throat> yep, it say, You are my battle axe and weapons of war, for with you will I break in pieces the nations, and with you will I destroy kingdoms so wherever the elect is because we are in the four corners of the earth matthews 24 and 31 so where whoever gets the power in that day is going to be hell to pay if you are a, a elect man in the uk elect man in china elect man in australia elect man in japan if you get power in that day the heathen is gonna pay man and that's beautiful because, like I said in the first um, part in the payback, when you really think about it, you know, the scripture said in um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 11 that the former things are not remembered. But the Lord said he's going to put his anger in us. So if the Lord was to give us memory of all the times that we came on the earth and saw these heathens do the things that they done unto us, uh, we would be really, really pissed. All right. The things that's been revealed is fucked up. They did a lot of dirty, just atrocious things, man. When you go in, when you dig deep into slavery, it, it, it's just disgusting, man. And then our women, that's why I don't feel sad for any of our women. That's what the Edomite, the things that they did to our women. The reason that they know the body so well is because they used to do experiments on the women. 
with no anesthesia. Imagine what type of pain that was. But now you land with this pink anyway. But anyways, um, it said, and with you will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with you will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With you also will I break in pieces man and women. So all that women liberation shit goes out the door when all hell break loose. Ain't nobody going to be looking at you, putting you up on a pedestal, saying, that's a female. Ain't nobody going to be doing that in that day. All right. Because the Lord's spirit is going to be in the midst thereof. He the ones that's going to be putting the spirit on the men of the Lord. Also going to be putting spirit on Esau, Edom to come down with great wrath. Jacob's trouble is going to be in the midst of this. But he should be saved out of it. That's the elect. All right. So it's saying, with you will I break in pieces the horse. Oh, and oh, where I'm at. With with you also will I break in pieces man and women. And with you will I break pieces old and young. No matter if you got a gray head, all right. If you are two third that's alive in that time, you gonna get it. You just a old black Latino Native American devil. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of thereof you will do. All right. Yahweh Shah told that to the uh, Pharisees and chief priests and scribes and elders. All right. You know, that them, them fancy titles and some men walking around here with those titles today. They just back in a lot. But anyways, it's saying with you, will I break in pieces the young man and the maid? I will also break in pieces with you, the shepherd and his flock. And with you, I will break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with you, will I break in pieces captains and rulers? Everybody going to get it. Ain't nobody. <laughs> all right. Anybody can get it. All right. That's what the Lord is saying right here. It don't matter. If you are meant to be judged, you're going to get touched by his people. The ones who received that power in that day. Matter of fact. It says, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh from the west. That's where we at, the Western Hemisphere. And his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. So let's see what that word standard is talking about. Um... So is um Nawas, Nawas, and it says to flee, to escape, to to escape, to take flight, depart, disappear, to fly, to the attack on horseback. See, come on, man, to put the flight, to drive hastily, to cause it to disappear high. So whatever it takes, the Lord is going to give you that strength, man. And. Right now, you know, we just waiting patiently on the Lord right now. Oh, matter of fact, before I get that, because this is the process that we are in right now. So it said, and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. That's that is the prophets. And then after that, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So. You know, right now, we destroying this man, making him bare. I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, all right, through the prophets. And it said, Jeremiah 16 and 14, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said to Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all lands where they have driven them and will bring them again into their land that I have given unto their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishers, say if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they shall fish them. That's what we're doing right now. Lord willing, I'm, man, Lord willing, I'm part of this. Lord willing, I'm part of this, man. You don't understand. Now, my favorite, and I'm talking about to this day, I watch it like I'm still a little kid. My favorite cartoon is Dragon Ball Z. 
I always wish. So that's kind of spiritual. But I always wish that I had the powers that my favorite character had, like Goku and Vegeta. I always wanted those type of powers. I used to dream about it, think about it, meditate on it. And now I never thought, especially back then, I ain't know nothing about the truth. Now I'm in the truth. Call her lawyer. How about you? I was shy. Hopefully I get a chance to be partaking of this, man. So right now we're fishing. And it said, after I was sent for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And that's when y'all devils going to try to hide and you're going to be pulled out of them dumps, deep underground military bases. All right. Your underground cities. We're going to go down there and grab y'all asses up. Psalms 149. All right. Bind their kings with fetters, of iron and they nobles with chains. All right. So Revelation 13. And um, nine, it said, if any man got an ear, let him hear. He that leave in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. This is the faith and patience of the saints. So the thing is, is that you will get paid back. As I said in the last video, the world call it karma. The Lord calls it. You reap what you sow. He's going to make his creatures. Matter of fact. Zechariah 10. It said, and they, and they is talking about Israel, particularly Judah. And it said, but Joseph, Ephraim, is going to be joined on with Judah in this process. And they just going to be Judah who's going to get the power. The tribes going to get the power and it said, and they shall be as mighty men, which tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the battle. And they shall fight because Yahweh is with them and the rider on horses shall be confounded. And I will strengthen the house of Judah and I will save the house of Joseph and I will bring them again to the place. I will bring them again to place them for I have mercy upon them and they shall be as though I had not cast them off. So, yeah, it's going to be like a bad dream. So when we do get this power and we start kicking ass and we start, you know, the Lord showing us that we about to be on top. Everything that we went through is going to be like a bad dream. The scriptures actually said that Psalms 126. Read it yourself. Job 20 and 8. Read it yourself. All right. And it says, um, and they shall be as though. I had not cast them off, for I am Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, their power, and I will hear them, not everybody, the elect of Israel. The end day of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man. See, it ain't just Judah. Ephraim, that's the top tribe of the northern kingdom, which means it's going to be Zebulon getting down. It's going to be uh, Gad getting down, Reuben, and so forth. So it said, um, and they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man and their heart shall rejoice as though as through wine. Yeah, their children shall see it and be glad their heart shall rejoice in Yahweh Basham El Vashad. This whole chapter is dynamite, but I just wanted to harbor on he making the creature his weapon and he's going to touch up Esau and the rest of the heathen and two thirds. Matter of fact, if y'all don't believe me. It's at 20 and 43. So this is after we be delivered. Oh, this is after we be delivered and we go through the wilderness again. It said, and there shall you remember your ways. Let me see. I'm going to start from 42. And you should know that I am Yahweh when I shall bring you into the land of Israel, into the country for the which I have lifted up my hand and give it to your fathers. And then and there shall you remember your ways and your doings wherein you have defiled and you shall loathe yourself in your sight for all the evils you have committed. And you should know that I am when I have. That's not it. Where is that at? Let me see. I'm going to find that. I don't know if it's purge rebels or purge. Duh. Let me see what this do. Yep. Oh, see, I knew it was in 20. So. 
I'm going to start from 37. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. See? And I will purge out from among you the rebels. That's talking about two-thirds of Israel. See, two-thirds of Israel are going to die. Everybody that in, in Babylon the Great, they're going to die. All right? If you're not in the great graces of um, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. But around the world, all right? Because this land is going to be totally destroyed, but the remnants that's going to be left in the other parts of the world, the two thirds, they're going to have to get this. And I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And you should know that I am the Lord. So, yeah. So the Lord going to make his creature his weapon and he's going to touch up everyone that trouble you. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Shalom.